Hey everybody, um, this is Ron Harris. I just did a blog on MassFitPrep.com talking about things to know before you compete. This is particularly relevant now because we're at the end of 2015. The contest season has just ended for the year. Next contest season is going to start up in the spring. So there's a little lull here and people are starting to think about maybe they're going to compete next year, this show or that show. Some people, uh, some of you out there have never competed. Maybe this will be your first time competing next year. Some of you have competed many times. Um, the first thing you need to understand if you've never competed is that bodybuilding is unique and different from other sports that you're probably familiar with in that it's judged very subjectively by a, a panel of judges who are going to visually assess your physique. So it's not like uh, football who gets the, the ball over the end zone the most times who gets the basket and the basketball hoop the most times, and on and on. It's not like that. You know, there's going to be varying opinions. That being said, there is a certain set of criteria. And you need to know this criteria and accept it and understand it because you're going to be judged by the these criteria. So, first of all, you need to understand judges are looking for the best total package, the physique that demonstrates the best combination of these different qualities, such as bone structure, you know, how you're looking, they're looking for someone with wide clavicles, wide shoulder bones, narrow hips, arms and legs that are proper proportions, not too long or too short. Obviously, that's something you're born with. You're not in control of that. Mass, you need to have some amount of muscle mass. This is bodybuilding, you know, uh, shape and balance, nice shape and nice balance. You know, you can't have things completely out of proportion. You want to have all the muscles in proportion. You'll see sometimes people with great upper bodies, terrible legs, great legs, terrible upper bodies, or missing body parts completely. Uh, where's the chest? It's, it's completely flat. What's the back thickness? There's none there. Uh, you know, lagging really, really glaringly weak body parts. That's, that's going to be a hindrance. They're looking for balanced development among all the major muscle groups. Condition. You need to have very, very low body fat. You'll see people show up at contests all the time, especially at the, the local and regional level, and their body fat is just much, much too high. You can't see any muscle definition, can't see the muscles properly, uh, the shape of them and the definition, the details. You can't see all that. It's obscured by body fat. And a lot of times people are delusional and they think it's just water. It's not water. It's fat. You, you didn't get lean enough for whatever reason. Uh, presentation also plays a role a lot of times, how well you display your physique. Uh, only if the contest is close, very close between people, do I find that's ever really a major factor. So we're looking for this total package, the best total package in a physique. So that's what you need to bear in mind. Uh, I've been to a lot of contests where people are very, very unhappy with their placings and they cry politics. They say, you know, the judges screwed them over. Uh, have I seen some bad decisions over the years? Definitely. I've seen some bad decisions. I've seen some very questionable decisions. Have politics played a role? I bet they have more than more than one time. Sure, I'm not. I'm not going to dispute that. But the majority of the time, when people think they were robbed or they think uh, they placed poorly because of politics, they're just plain delusional. They don't understand. Either don't understand what the criteria is that they're being judged by, or they're ignoring it. They're in denial. So we talked about that total package. Somebody will harp on the fact that you know I was fifth place, but I was in better condition of all the guys that placed ahead of me. Maybe he was, but maybe those guys all had much better mass, much better shape. You know, you might have been lacking body parts completely, but you're just focused on the one thing that you had that was better than these other guys. Or you'll say, I had the best calves, or I had the best pecs. It, it doesn't matter. It's not, a, it's not a pec contest. It's not a calf contest. It's a physique contest. So you can be the biggest guy, but if you're fat, it doesn't matter. You can be the leanest guy. If you're small, you're probably still not going to win, and on and on. You can't just have one quality. You need to have a balance of all these qualities. So uh, what forced me to feel compelled to do this was I was just looking at uh, videos and pictures of Jason Genova, who is obviously a YouTube legend, internet legend. Uh, Jason is has a mental disability of some sort. I don't know exactly what. So I give him a pass, but he recently competed, got fourth out of four in the light heavies in a very small show in Florida and proceeded to go online and say he was robbed. It was political. The judges screwed him over. Uh, 
you know, delu he's, he's delusional as a lot of people are. He was carrying much, much too much body fat. He's completely missing many body parts, especially in the upper body. You know, I'm not going to pick the guy apart because he's far from unique and, you know, he's, he's dealing with some sort of mental issues. So and he's probably going to put an Order 66 out on me now for uh, talking shit about him. I'm just being real, Jason. If you watch and listen to this, you'll understand. I'm not putting you down specifically. I'm saying you represent a lot of people out there that don't quite understand how these contests are judged or you're in denial and you need to improve rather than complain about the judging. You need to improve. Specifically, he needs to be much leaner. He needs to build up various body parts like his back, his chest, his shoulders, and come in a lot leaner. Uh, for every person that I've seen that said they were robbed, in almost every case, I could tell them straight out, this is why you place where you did. You know, you need, you need to be a much leaner next time. You need a much better tan. You know, you had no color at all. You were white as a ghost up there. You know, on and on. It's always something that's fairly obvious to anyone that has an eye for physiques and has been to many, many contests, especially to anyone who's been a judge. I've, I've judged some shows in my time, so I do know what they look for, uh, as well as I've been to hundreds and hundreds of shows. So as we finish off 2015, the contest season's over. A lot of us are looking forward to next season, 2016. Um... You know, I hope a lot of you guys do compete next year, whether it's for the first time or uh, maybe the 20th or 30th time. Competing is a great thing. Uh, I enjoy the process myself. Haven't done it in a couple of years. I'm sure I will again in a couple of years from now. But just understand that it is judged subjectively, much like a pageant, not like a conventional sport. Uh, the judges do make the right call most of the time. Most of the placings are fair and accurate. And if you don't get the placing that you feel you deserve, you need to look at yourself objectively. And if you can't do that, find some people who do know physiques. Ask them what you need to improve on. Ask the judges would be the best thing you could do after the show once it's over. What do you think I need to improve on? And they'll tell you. Most of the time, they're very happy to tell you. Uh, you know, and that's, that's what you need to do. Take that to heart. And before you compete next time, know that this is what you need to do. If they said you need to be a lot leaner, be leaner next time. If they said you need more mass, don't compete again until you have that mass. If they said, well, you're weak, you have uh, weak legs or weak back, don't compete again until you bring those muscle groups up. Maybe it's going to take you a year or two years, three years, whatever it takes. You're going to do better when you look better. And then you won't be worrying about politics or complaining about being screwed. You'll be, uh, you'll be placing high. And I find that people that place very highly usually don't complain at all. So that's my little talk for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy your holidays. Talk to you later.